Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Using XMP mode to reduce stutters in Microsoft Flight Simulator? Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. I know the big question everyone has on their mind right now is, what is XMP mode? But more importantly, how can I use it on my system to get the best performance out of Microsoft Flight Simulator. First, let me explain what XMP mode is. In Intel's terminology, XMP stands for Extreme Memory Profile. Now, if you're an AMD user, they may call it something like Expo, DOCP, or EOCP. I'll get into how to activate this a little bit later in this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So the next question is, should you enable XMP mode on your system? One thing to know about all high-performance RAM is that it uses XMP profiles. And that's because they all run above the standard DDR industry specifications. So if you do not enable XMP mode on your system, all of your memory will run at your system's standard specs, and these are dependent on your CPU. So let me just give you a for instance. If we look at the system specs, we have 32 gigs of RAM at 5200 megahertz. Now, if you are not running in XMP mode, this RAM will most likely be running at 2133 megahertz. Oh no! This will be especially important to anyone who has purchased a pre-built gaming system because I would say about 50% of the time, the builders of these systems do not go into the BIOS and activate XMP. So now you may ask, well, how do I know if my system is running in XMP mode without actually going into the BIOS? Let me show you how to do that real quick. The easiest way to check that your system is running in XMP mode for your RAM speed is to open up your task manager, go down to the memory section, then you wanna turn your attention to the speed section down here below. As you can see, I am running 3867, Actually, it's 3866 that it's set in the BIOS. Now, if you are not running XMP mode, yours might say 2133 or 2800, most likely somewhere around there. Again, this is all going to be based on your specific CPU. All right, so now you realize you're not utilizing XMP mode on your system. Let's go over how to activate this on the various mainstream motherboards. Now please keep in mind that every one system is different, every one BIOS versions are different, so yours may look slightly different than the pictures that I'm going to show. Throughout the rest of this video, I will not be doing any talking, and I will just be showing illustrations on how to activate XMP mode and where to find this in your system BIOS. To get to your system BIOS, you normally need to rapid hit the delete button when your system is booting, and that should put you into your system BIOS. With that being said, if you enjoy today's content, please make sure to hit that subscribe, tickle on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one.